Newly released images expose the reality of a startling train robbery trend out of Los Angeles that has seen thieves make away with the contents of thousands of packages lifted from cargo containers. Shocking images and video show they picked over remains from the thefts with cardboard boxes and other discarded packaging strewn across the ground. Reporters have found discarded boxes from most major U.S. mail order companies and retailers such as Amazon. The transport company Union Pacific said in December that approximately 90 cargo trains a day were compromised by looters. Union Pacific also estimated that between October 2020 and October 2021, robberies of their cargo containers increased some 356 percent. Meanwhile, you know, they, they have decided that it's just uh, it's better business to not spend money securing these trains and just suffer the losses than it is uh, investing in the in the security. Yeah, but those images are really uh, oh, yeah. the, the it scenes from the, the decline. trash are yeah. it's disgusting. Um, I guess well, this is a little bit of a of a tragedy of the commons situation, right? Because the tracks, the area right around the tracks, is public grounds, right? If that was if that was somebody's privately owned property, they wouldn't they wouldn't let it be <laughs> treated like that. But it's the commons, so. Nobody that nobody has enough decision rights, or it's not there, so you feel like right. you don't do anything about it. I guess right. the government's supposed to do something about it, I guess, or the train authority, or whoever that is in Los Angeles. Right. Every everybody like everybody has a tiny piece of it. The train companies, etc. Right. And so everybody has a tiny enough piece. Right. But the train, right, the like, train company doesn't own the tracks. Not it's my the, problem. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and th but this is uh, this is another like I said, scene from the decline of the empire. Like yeah. just. Uh, you know, the, the Great Depression was was characterized uh, by uh, what what they were calling hobos. You know, people who uh, people who you know hopped on trains, rode across the country. Now they're just hopping on the train and taking the Amazon packages off off the train rather than going you know from one place uh, to another. There was there, there was another fancy term they had beyond hobos for them. Can't remember exactly what it was, but they they defined. The Great Dep Depression period. Yeah, that's These, a powerful image of right. the Great Depression period. Yeah, right. the train riding. Right, and so it, it's it's sort of coming back around, but in its own consumerist fashion here in yeah. in 2022. And but pulling people's medicine off the train is just unconscionable. Oh yeah, I mean, co like, come on, like just like I, there, there's there's got to be some connection to a sense of society. Uh, left, but you, you take a look at that, and there and there isn't. It's just it's it's funny to think that you know every now and then when you don't have a package show up, and it's fine, you just reorder it, and <laughs> right. it comes three days later instead. It's in there somewhere. Where is it's it? Yeah, it's, yes, yeah, so it's in that giant pile. Just go, you have to go uh, sifting through it. Yeah, that really so. ugly pile. Ugh, they should. Yeah, like. I mean, this is a this is a problem. Uh, public spaces, nice. I mean, the train tracks aren't really nice spaces per se, but uh, but they should be better taken care of. For but public spaces being overrun by people who are homeless, where there's trash and everything. That's what follows kind of crime and that you know that environment. It's not it's not good. It's not healthy. It's ugly. It shouldn't right. be. It right. It looks like fall of the fall of the republic. Right, and it, it would cost the companies more. To secure these, you know, because it, and it costs them more in time too. Because the the big thing that is driving logistics now is how quickly can mm -hmm. this package get to me? If at each destination, uh, workers have to have the right passcodes or the right keys to get into a cargo train, that's adding complexity and it's adding time. It makes it impossible, pretty much, for people to then steal everything on there. But it but it slows things down, and so those nail clippers might not be there till Wednesday rather than Tuesday. And you saw, you know, you've seen what happens when people face a, a slight decline in their ability to get the different mm -hmm. uh, goods and treats that make up this economy. And so uh, these logistics companies are like, you know what, it's, it's just worth it to us to lose all of this. Now, at some point, the losses are gonna stack up so high that the equation is gonna change. But clearly at this point, They've made the calculation that the losses are 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 better than the the benefit of uh, that comes with the cost of mm. securing this. Mm. They uh, so these trains don't stop moving. So they get on the train, 
as it's moving, right? And they just there's, there's just right, nobody because as there's no going security on the train. Area, right. It's just the like the conductor because they're ne they don't drive themselves. There's a conductor at the front, right, and then just toss, 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 and then go deal with it later. Oh, and then right. they just they just throw it off and they go back and fight. So that's right. why, and then that's why you have so many. Right. And they just tear through the packages. Right. Ugh. It's not good. They're, the no. <laughs> it's not good. Yes. I mean, the failure down. the failure to deal with the crime problem is um, that's pushing people in a right leaning direction. I think, um, although you know, Republican leaders have not really dealt with this problem any better than right. Democratic leaders. Although we, the problem is most pronounced in currently in you know big cities, which tend to be run by Democrats, but not universally. And it's just uh, oh, it's just not good. No, thumbs down. <laughs> no good. Thumbs down on the train robberies. We're, we're opposed to train robbery. Have you ever robbed a train, Ryan? I've not, never robbed a train. No, never. No. Never even stowed away on one. No. Trains are, uh, I, don't, I don't love the trains. I, I, we t I take the, the Amtrak from, you know, New York to D.C., and I get motion sickness very easily. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a jostly ride. I can't get any work done. I have gotten on the wrong train before. Have you gotten on the wrong train? Yeah, wound up in Connecticut. <sighs> It's, uh, that. Actually, I was on the train from New York to D.C. once, and uh, it was a problem with the, it was the wrong, it told people to get on the wrong one. So I got on the right one, but uh, like everybody else on the train oh. got on it going the wrong <laughs> way, and they were furious. And the, the, the conductor, the person who takes your ticket, said, well, it was, since it was not human error, it was not the train people's error, it was the machine's error, nobody would be refunded or something like that. <laughs> like, oh, this is, this is fodder for a great dystopia short story. No, the machine made an error, not us. <laughs> so, sorry, you're out of luck. Anyway, we'll have more rising right after this. Stay with us.